Nagbabalik po ang reaksyon at kasama pa rin po natin si Israeli Ambassador to the Philippines, Ambassador Ephraim Ben Matitiao. The main concern for most Filipinos who want to go to Israel and for many Catholics and Christians, you know, Israel, the Holy Land, is a pilgrimage place. But their main concern now because of this deal and, you know, with the ongoing tensions in the Middle East is their security and safety. Does, do, do these deals and even, um, you know, the ongoing uh, tension with... Uh, with Palestine, with the Palestinians, uh, do they ratchet up, you know, the risk uh, for, for ordinary tourists, for example? In principle, when what we call tension in the Middle East that is not followed by action, let's put it this way, I mean, uh, is not something that is going to affect tourism in Israel. Uh, the rationale is, yes, we have around 3 million tourists coming uh, to Israel this year. Uh, you have 30,000 Filipinos who live in Israel. So, I mean, I mean, there are many sources of information to tell you, okay, what's the situation? Most of the year, the situation is calm, and we are also, as government, uh, and asking your government, responsible government, we issue those uh, travel warnings. And I think that uh, when the travel warning is not there, uh, everything is nor and relatively normal or absolutely normal, and that's uh, most of the time. And, and not only that, I, I think Israel has one of the uh, strongest uh, perceptions of, uh, well, security uh, control in, in their area. Uh, and, uh, you know, actually, tourists do feel safe in Israel. I have been there, and uh, I see that uh, there's, there's, it's really large by large, uh, very, very peaceful. Crime-wise, Israel is a very peaceful mm -hmm. country. The only issue that you refer to is really the security that That's is right. more the conflict-wise. Right. So the conflict is not active most of the year and most of the years. It's, but, I mean, there is a brewing political conflict. That's different. We have to, as I said, that's why yeah, I say, right. the political arena is one thing, but that is not necessarily something that you see in, the, mm -hmm. in everyday life. Mm -hmm. so Let, let's, let's talk about tourism potential here. Uh, uh, Filipinos go to Israel a lot. They love the place. Uh, you know, it's a pilgrimage place for them. Uh, is, is this something that we can also do? Uh, well, can the Israelis reciprocate that, for example? Do Israelis look to the Philippines as a tourist destination as much as we look to Israel as a pilgrimage destination? I think when it comes to tourism, it's, it has a lot to do with the publicity and the promotion. Uh, because uh, you normally go to places based on their uh, attraction and image and, you know, exotism and things like <laughs> that. I mean, we are looking for those exotic things. That's what you're looking for. We're exotic. The Philippines is so exotic. <laughs> I am uh, absolutely surprised. I mean, uh, I'm here uh, one year only, so kind of, uh, for me, still learning the Philippines. Mm. But if you look at uh, is the pattern of Israeli traveling, we have 160,000 Israeli, uh, 160, Israelis in Thailand. In every Thailand? Year, every year. Okay, how much do we get? So you don't, you get the fraction of the fraction of it. Oh, that is and so reason, sad. And I think the reason is really mostly uh, the promotional aspect. I mean, that we're we not promoted we, enough. We are, you in are Israel. not promoting, you are not promoting enough in Israel. We don't promote enough both sides. What are Israelis are, looking for when they visit, uh, you know, a foreign country? Exactly what you can find here in uh, large quantities. I'm talking about the Palawan or the beautiful beaches, beaches. and the great, yeah. uh, the, I say, the great Filipina smile. And yes, uh, it's here. I mean, so you. Uh, <laughs> That's this our is an uh, asset. main selling point. This is an asset. Uh, our friendliness. Can, uh, <laughs> yes. Uh, so, so, so you think that it's really a, a matter of, you know, just a matter of uh, promoting the Philippines, promoting the Filipino, I think so. you know, I think hospitality, so. the trademark, uh, friendliness uh, that we exude, which is genuine. <laughs> I think so, and I look at uh, the. I was ambassador in Vietnam before this post, oh, and I, see. I, I can see really how Israelis are attracted to the name or to the image, mm -hmm. and it's really a question of creating a, the proper image. Philippines has all the ingredients like Thailand. Mm -hmm. It's not. I mean that uh, it's so different. Uh, it's a country with. Is so the traffic many... a turn off to you? Uh, tra traffic is not. <laughs> Do you think that's going to be an issue? <laughs> because that's something that's going to be around for the well, next, I think, two years or so, or maybe even well, three or four or five. I don't for know. <laughs> most of the tourists is not a big issue because most of them are going to go to the beaches of the Philippines. Straight yeah, to the beach. To, yes, that's it's right. not that you stop here yeah. for a long time. Fly over uh, Metro Manila and go straight to Palawan. Something to like avoid that. the traffic. Something like that. In any <laughs> case, I mean, they are coming to enjoy the beaches. Right. They are coming to enjoy the atmosphere, uh, the weather. 
weather, and uh, which in the good season, I mean, it's excellent. So mm -hmm. you have all the ingredients. Uh, as a matter of fact, we are now in a very promising stage where both countries recognize this particular aspect. In a few weeks' time, we are going to host here the uh, Minister of Tourism from Israel. Oh. And he's coming here on an official uh, uh, basis. Yes. And this is going to be the real, uh, the real discussion here is right. really how to promote, how to create a bridge. I call it the bridge between uh, uh, somehow the paradise of the Philippines and the Holy Land. <laughs> wow, the it's paradise a, that is the Philippines. It's uh, in many <laughs> Pearl ways. Pearl of the Orient. Pearl of the Orient. <laughs> when I say paradise, it's like the uh, uh, island paradise, what That's you call right. it. Yeah. And it's the Pearl of the Orient and the uh, Holy right. Land. So Filipinos who are really attracted to the Holy Land uh, in uh, this one way, and Israelis who are looking for the attraction of the beautiful islands and the beaches. That's right. And the beautiful There's smile. There's a connection, you know, in the Bible. Uh, pearl is a treasure of great price. That's us. And <laughs> Israel is the Holy Land. So <laughs> Thank you so very much, Ambassador Ephraim Matityao. Thank you. And you have a good evening. Thank you so much. Kung walang magsasabi, walang mangyayari ang opinion mo, pinakikinggan, pinag-uusapan, dahil ang bawat balita may katumbas na reaksyon. Ako po si Luchy Cruz Valdez. Magandang gabi po sa inyong lahat. Thank you.